the ninth pick, San Antonio Spurs. I think they'll go Daniel Dyson because he's available for me. They like their uh, their foreign players, Australian, fits right in, perfect. But they're on a very weird situation where they always try and compete. They always try and compete, right? That's all they really do. And they have this like mix, this mish, like shift team that's just kind of a bunch of solid guys that work super hard, but they're not going to do much. But I think they're kind of moving in a different direction now. Um, I like DeJounte Murray at point. I think they can bring in a Dyson Daniels where they don't necessarily need someone who can shoot the ball where it would be good. But Daniels, I guess right now, out of the players I have drafted, he has the highest potential available out of the rest of the guys. So I think they're going to look at that and say, if we can develop and right, which the Spurs, they're good. They're great at developing players. I think they look at that and said, let's get a good defender in here. We can slide him in. They don't necessarily need a scorer right now in the backcourt. We're, again, they have Lonnie Walker there. They have DeJounte Murray, like I mentioned. They, so they don't necessarily need someone who can come in and shoot. So I think they'll use Dyson properly. So I think it's just the obvious choice, pick nine. Clearly the best player available. So I'm, I'm going to the Spurs. Yeah, no, I like that pick. I have them going Johnny Davis because I still have him available. I think he's the best player available left for me too. That's the San Antonio move. They pick the best player available. It's not like they have any like super obvious holes on their roster. I like Johnny Davis next to uh, DeJounte Murray as well. DeJounte Murray, obviously a good defender. Johnny Davis, a really, really good defender too. So I like that backcourt. And I don't know. I think best player available, maybe he doesn't have the upside as a couple of players left on the board, but I think it would be like reaching for upside at that point. Like with play, like I don't have Dyson Daniels on my board. So I don't know. I like Johnny Davis. He fits well in the backcourt. Like you said, they've got a lot of backcourt options. But like you also said earlier, the West has a lot of backcourt guys who you need to be able to defend. And I think Johnny Davis is useful for that. And he can be like a secondary scorer for them too.